Hello and welcome back to the channel. All right, we're stuck in a rut. We're not sure what to do. We haven't really mind mapped many ideas. We haven't picked the theme yet. We're panicking. What do we do? Well, you've come to the right place. We're going to sort you out. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have the contextual design themes. We've talked about those in a previous video. If you haven't had a chance to have a look at them yet, you need to. We need to be really thoroughly engaging in what these actually are. So, three themes, uh, two contextual challenges per theme. You need to choose one of them. And at this stage, it needs to be the case of, right, what are you most into? Do I have a passion for climate energy? Is it something that I want to get involved with? Do I want to help support the environment? If so, that's the one we go for, isn't it? If we enjoy going to the cinema and we can't think of another idea, then you might want to choose that. Uh, most students will have gone to the cinema and experienced that, and that's a decent thing because we've all been there, we've all had that experience, so we can sort of have some form of uh, previous knowledge on that. So we, let's let's delve into the cinema idea. Some of you might have a real passion for the coast and love to be on the beach and love to be by the sea, in which case you're probably going to have an inkling to support wildlife in those environments. So head down that road. So we've had a look, we've picked one. doesn't matter which one yet. Uh, we can just go, right, let's say we're going to do the coast one. Let me just say right off the bat here, though, I've got to be really careful here, haven't I? If I start guiding you down one of the themes, I'm going to be in breach of contract. That's a no-go. So I'm going to be cautious here. So bear this in mind. This is all guidance. It's not designed to say you've got to do this. That's your decision. Your classroom teachers will support that. They're going to say, OK, you can choose any theme. We can't tell you to do one or the other. It's not our place. It's your design. It's your baby. It's going to be your product. It's going to be your challenge. It's all about you. Are we asking you to solve climate energy? No. Are we asking you to find a solution to get everybody back into cinemas after the, the coronavirus pandemic is all done and dusted? No. Are we asking you to preserve all the wildlife around the British coast? No. What we are asking you to do is come up with a product that helps support those causes. We're not after you creating a Nobel Prize, although I'd like to think that some of you out there watching this video will eventually go on to win a Nobel Prize, in which case, remember where you got it from we need to explore it my advice here at this stage is if you've got access to the internet which presumably you have because you're watching me google it let's see here we go here i am I've, I've googled one of those themes how can products be used to preserve wildlife in coastal areas i've got a plethora of different types of website links i can go down and have a look through i can scroll through all these and have a look at them now, the top one I've had a look at already, and it's quite text heavy. There's a lot of information there, quite hard to unpick. If you want to, take some time, read through it. You might find something there for you. But I've, I've gone for this one here. Ten things you can do to save the ocean. So, let's open that up, and let's start having a look. Ten things we can do. One, we can mine the carbon footprint and reduce energy consumption. Can't really make a product out of that. Let's think of something else. Make safe, sustainable seafood choices. Uh, I, I may be able to make a menu, possibly. A little bit weak, though. It doesn't really have a product in there. Aha! Right, what's this? Three. Use fewer plastic products. Okay, well, if you do the polymers course, sorry, this one doesn't really help you. But if we're doing anything else, timbers, metals, paper and boards, or even if you are doing polymers, you can design a product that doesn't use plastics. Plastics that end up in the ocean debris contribute to the habitat destruction and entanglement of tens of thousands of marine animals each year. To limit your impact, carry reusable water bottles. Hello, product there. Could we design a reusable water bottle, perhaps? Store food in non-disposable containers. Maybe we could make some form of timbers-based product that has a hinged lid and it's varnished on the inside. Maybe there's some vacuum forming inside. So we have a plastic interior and maybe we could put food in there. Maybe we could recycle that and keep doing it over and over again. Bring your own cloth tote or your usable bag when shopping. Could we design a shopping bag? I mean, it's something we've done at the academy. You've probably come across that product. Certainly where I work, we, we do a tote bag project. Maybe you could explore that. 
so there you have it there's a few different products there and all i've done is i've clicked on one website and just unpicked some products that's already there and gone well i could do that i could make this i could make that and if that's your theme let's explore it let's have a mind map that talks about a water bottle is it feasible if it's not don't worry about it we've explored it could you store it in a non-disposable container what is a non-disposable container i mean literally let's see if i can grab that let's copy and let's let, let's go for it shall we let's let's drop in here paste and search non-disposable containers images ah products everywhere it's there for you to look at it's there for you don't get stuck in a rut these are all here i mean look we've got loads of different things what's this thing it looks like it folds away could we make that it's made out of plastic which isn't ideal but it's there we've got all these different ways of clipping things we've got some really nice stylized versions all these different products i mean it's just there it's all there screaming at you i mean it's, it's right there isn't it <laughs> i don't know how else to, to help you here but there they are. I mean, there's some wooden versions here as well. I mean, look, there's prices. I can even go in here and product analyze these. £20.99 for the plastic and bamboo food storage container. Or I can go for the cheaper version here, which is the Leon Round Bamboo Lunch Pot. I can analyze those products. That's my product analysis is right there. It's, it's all there right for you guys. you just got to unpick it. And it's just a case of you researching that theme. It's there. Just have a look for it. I mean I, I mean, I must have said it's there about three or four times. Someone in the comments is going to be able to t outline there and tell me how many times I've said it's there. But it, it, it is. It's, it's there. It's right. <laughs> it's, uh, don't know how else to explain it, really. Google the theme. It's there. The themes are there. The products are there. It might not be a product you want to explore straight away, but it's something you can start mind mapping. And you can have loads of fun with it. I mean, look at this. I mean, could we make a compartmentalized product that stores food and, and helps you there? Maybe there's some kind of card inside that educates about marine life. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, I mean, that's got a bit of laser engraving on it. Ooh. It's there, isn't it? It's all there. Okay, so. Um, there you go. I don't know how else I can help you with that. There's my advice. There's my guidance. Go out. Google your theme. Find some products, copy and paste them, get them stuck into your folder work, get them cut out, snippity snip, get them into your research, have a look at them, product anal analyze some of those ideas. Uh, where else do we go with it? I mean, <laughs> it's right there. Okay, so, right, I'm going to head back to home. What have we found out from this video? Well, first of all, look at those contextual challenges, have a look at what's already out there in the world. We can Google those themes and the themes will come up with some already existing products. Find out what already exists, analyze it, uh, pick it apart. What materials have they used? Why have they used those materials? Are those materials that we could use in our academies or schools? Find out what's already out there. <laughs> Google it. Um, it will help. It will support you. Uh, if you need any more support, hit me in the comments down below. I'm looking forward to finding out how many times I've said it's there. Uh, there's another one for you. And uh, here we go. Until next time, stay safe. And if you don't want to miss another one of these exciting videos, then don't forget to subscribe. I might put a video up here for you to go and have a look at uh, on the mind maps. Maybe. Might be looking back to the contextual challenge theme. In fact, I probably will link you to the contextual challenge here. And then my beautiful mug for subscribing so you don't miss another one of my videos. Stay safe. Bye now.